You're joking. You're joking. I can't believe my eyes. Oh my goodness. This is so adorable. Love you to death. Love you to death. This is absolutely adorable. Look at this. Oh my goodness. The mayor, Jack, Sally, and who's in the back? Oogie Boogie? Oh yeah, this is cute. Another quick, this is a quick fast video with me, Lock with Leilani. Who is Lock with Leilani? That is me. It is nighttime, it's evening time, it's even after 10 o'clock, but hey, that's when the ghouls come out, right? I had to share with you guys me putting together this little adorable tear tray. I'm really excited about it. I have basically two tear trays that are out. I have one that still has like my Mickey pumpkin and all like my fall stuff. I'm not quite ready to take that one down yet. I may mix up some things on there, but I may even leave it out because as you guys know, I'm leaving some fallout and mixing in some Halloween. I never usually do that. I usually put fallout first completely. Fall has been out for about three weeks or so, almost a month, I want to say, almost a month this week. I took down a lot of it the end of last week to put in some Halloween. I do have a ton of Halloween out, but I still have my Ray Dunn coffee box has like a combination of fall, has a combination of Halloween, and I have some Halloween, Mickey, Disney. You guys know I always do Disney. Um, I have quite a bit of things out. I'm just pretty much at this point tying in the video, but I did want to come on and share with you guys. This is basically my tier tray that I'm putting together. So it's going to be a nightmare before Christmas, or as some people say, NBC is short for nightmare before Christmas. So I have Sally here. I was able to find her as a squash mellow. I was not able to find Jack at the grocery store. I was very sad about it because I do want him. These are the smaller ones. They did have zero, which is a little dog, which is right here, the little ghost dog. He has a little pumpkin on his nose. I was able to get Jack and Oogie Boogie and um, Zero and of course Sally. I was able to get all of them at the grocery store. I'm sorry, at CVS. I'm sorry, not, not the grocery store, but CVS. And these are basically the little, um, you know, the little ones that hang like on a backpack or a bag or something like that. So seven ninety nine dollars on each one of these. That's pretty pricey, right? But I had to get all four of them. I could not see it without having all four of them. I did get Sally Squashmallow from the grocery store. I live here in Southern California. I did pick her up at Albertsons. Picked up these four guys at CVS. I want to say she was $12.99. And then I also picked up this adorable sign. It says, love you to death. I am so obsessed with this sign. And it's black and white. It goes perfect with Jack. It goes perfect with Zero. And it goes perfect with this wood duo stack serving tray. So I found this duo stack serving tray at my local Vons grocery store here in SoCal. If you guys are familiar with my kitchen, you guys have been following me for... The three or four months that I've been in this space, you guys know this is my tear tray from Target. I've been sharing this on my Instagram too for a, quite a while, for three years now since I've been in the Instagram space. I've only been here in the YouTube space for about three-ish months. So this is one that is always here. This is over here by my sink. This is my kitchen sink here. So this is basically where this is. And the reason why I have this by my sink, I shared this almost two years ago when I put it in my kitchen for the first time because I was decorating for Christmas and I just wanted to have some extra like Christmas spirit right in my face as I'm cooking. Just gives me motivation, gives me some positivity because you know you're cooking all the time and you're on your feet, you're tired, you're stressed. You're just like, oh my gosh, having this tear tray that's right here in my face, it just brings me joy for whatever the season may be. So I do like to have this right here and I usually have my... Christmas decor, my Valentine's Day decor, my Easter, whatever I may be celebrating for that season is what I'm using. So this is the first time I'm going to be switching this out. This has not been moved in almost three years, you guys. So here we go. This is like a milestone. You guys are here with me for the first. I'm actually moving it. I'm actually going to store it. And I am actually going to put this tier tray in its space. I don't know how big this is going to be because it looks like it's just, you know, it looks like it's about the same size though, but I am going to be using all these friends as you guys can see right here. I also have the mayor coffee mug. He did not make the cut for my, uh, for my hut shelf. So you guys will see that coming up too very soon. I definitely want to drop this video. It's just a quick video just to show you guys like me putting together this tier tray. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this out of the packaging. I have all these friends. I don't know if they're going to make the cut, but I wanted to show them to you guys. I don't know if they're going to go on the shelf or not. I do have more Jack and Sally mugs 
that I can put onto the shelf. And I also have the mayor. I want to try to get the mayor included because he's super cute. And, you know, you don't typically see him in any decor, right? But they came out with him at Home Goods. I don't know why. Maybe there's some more mugs coming. I don't know. But I do have the two pack of Jack and Sally. You guys will see them on my hood shelf. If you guys follow me on Instagram, and if you guys have, thank you guys so much. Once again, make sure you guys turn your notifications on so that you guys do not miss another video. I do upload a lot of videos. Um, right now, it's holiday season. So, I'm kind of like random with my days. I'm really trying to do like Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, or like Monday, Wednesday, Sunday. I'm all over the place right now. So I'm just uploading as many videos as I possibly can. I'm also just starting out. So just giving you guys as many videos as I possibly can. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Make sure you guys grab yourself a drink, grab yourself a snack so that you guys can jump into the rest of this video. I probably will come back on at the end and talk to you guys. Some of these items, like I said here, you guys will not necessarily see make the cut for the shelf obviously the squash metal is not going over there the sign is going on there i may even pick up some other things around my kitchen that may go on there i have some ghosts i have some uh some measuring cups i have different things that can actually go on this shelf i have to mess around with it so you guys will see me doing that in the video and then i will come back at the end and kind of talk about what i actually did so let's go ahead and jump on into that grab yourself a snack pause the video now it's the perfect time to pause the video go get yourself a snack a spooky snack Get yourself a drink, rattle, wrap up yourself in your blanket because it's spooky out there, right? It's spooky out there. Let's get cozy and comfy and let's jump into getting this tear tray put together. It looks like it's pretty simple, straightforward. It looks like there's like a screw casing here and you got to put that in there. Boom, boom, boom. There is the, <laughs> there is the, um, the handle and boom, booyah, right? We're going to put this thing together. Super simple. All the different parts. It looks like there's just the two trays. And then the, you know, the main piece here and the brackets and then the little spider web on the top. Super cute. Pick this up at the grocery store. I think this was, was it 16 .99? It was either 15 or 16 .99, which is also pretty pricey. But I had never seen anything like this before, like a spider web, like Halloween thing, tear tray. Adorable. So I have to put it together. So once again, go grab yourself something to drink. Get yourself a cozy blanket and let's jump on in. It's not going to be a very long video, but just a little, little bit of motivation for you guys to get ready for Halloween. Just get your decor together. And once again, I will come to the end of the video. I will come back and talk about what I actually did. So let's go ahead and let's dive in. Okay, so I'm back on before I actually start putting this together. I wanted to show you guys it did, it did have instructions. So basically, this is the larger plate, which is here. I have a smaller plate, which is there. Showing you guys, you can put these things together. I know sometimes we wait for our husbands to do stuff. Girls, we got that muscle too. So I'm flexing my muscle right now. And you guys can definitely put these things together yourself. So here is the back piece. You just want to check all your pieces when you open things up. And then you have this piece right here. Um, and then over here, you have a smaller one, which is back there. So on here, it basically shows you that you're going to basically take one of these pieces and you're going to take it like this and you're going to lay it down so let's see it's a flat piece on the side then it goes like that so then you're going to take this piece and basically this piece is going to screw down so if you guys look at this it has like an area where you can screw it on so basically i'm going to take this like this and i'm going to screw it on like that just make sure it's nice and stable you don't want to screw it too tight though because you don't want to strip it okay so it's showing you on the second picture that you're going to turn that's what those arrows are and then this is how it will look, which is right here. And then you're going to take, obviously, the second one. And you are going to sit it. Let's see. I think you put the other screw on that one. Let's see. They're showing that. Yeah, so you take the other one. So this is the second picture right there. So basically, you take this second piece right here. And you sit it on top of there like that. And then you're going to take the actual wool, let's see, you're gonna take that piece, put that on there, okay, and then what you're gonna do is, you're gonna sit, wait, let me see, I think I'm missing a step, you guys, hold on, let me go back, see, you gotta read it, you gotta read it, okay, so that's the piece right there, it looks like they do want me to put that piece on there, so see how they're showing how this is on the top there, but then they're also showing one on the top here, so as you guys can see on here, there's only two, so I don't know. So on the top here, they're showing how that's on the very top of it, but that doesn't even make any sense. So I think that you just sit this on here like this. No, is that wrong? Yeah, because the way they did it, hmm. I'm going to have to figure that one out. Let's see. Yeah, that's a little confusing. I don't know why it's confusing. It's probably simple, but it looks like, see up here how they did that? I don't think that piece goes on there. 
I think they're showing me that that's how that looks. So I think what you do is, I think you sit this base on the top of here. I think that's what you do. I think you sit that on there and then maybe this goes on top of that, right? That's what I'm thinking, right? Let's go ahead, let's mess around with this, let's see. I think that's what you do. I mean, to, to me right here, it looks like that's what you do. But see, right here is showing where you just sit this on the base and you just screw it down in there. So let me mess around with this. Let's see how that goes. So that was the case. I basically just took that little screw, that metal other screw that I showed you guys, and I put it here. And so this is how it's looking. Um, I don't want to strip it or nothing like that, but I want to make sure it's nice and snug because I definitely don't want to start putting things on it and then it like falls or collapse. Can you guys imagine? That would be a nightmare, right? But this is how it's looking. So you guys can see, this is how it looks as a whole. This is everything on my counter. So now I'm just gonna push it in place right here. And hopefully it doesn't get damaged. I mean, it looks like it's, you know, it's made out of like a good material. So if it gets wet, it should be okay. So yeah, let's go ahead and start building this. Let's start putting some things on it, kind of playing around and seeing how it's gonna look with some of the items on it. So let me jump back on into that video. So here we go. guys so here we go so here is how the tear tray turned out i adore it i think it looks beautiful and i have the love you to death sign on the very top there was just nothing else that could really go on top with it i definitely outdid myself on this one i mean you know i have to push it back you guys saw me playing around with it in the video a little bit um also sharing this on instagram by the way on the bottom here i have all the light ups you have jack on top of the ray dunn black measuring cups you have sally in the front you see oogie boogie peeking into the back and the mayor's on the side and he's got his funny face going on but this is basically how it looks guys um this is pretty much how it looks on my counter this will be what i will be looking at for the next i'll be looking at this until the very end of um october which of course the 31st right and then november 1st i'll probably start taking stuff down and go back to some sort of fall now i'm going to be obsessed with my halloween because i'm obsessed with this tear tray already as far as the lights, I will definitely be looking at the paper so I can see exactly what type of light it takes. Um, I'm not sure on here if it, I'm sure it should tell me what it takes. You guys know I'm in the midst of getting some um, some glasses. It says an LR44 battery, so I don't know what the heck that is. Require, requires three of those, three times one five volt. Um, yeah, that's crazy. I'm Here I am down here with this. So I have to figure that out, but I'm gonna keep those on hand. I did take this light right here and I had this shining in front of Jack, 
like this in front of the sign. That light is starting to dim because I do have it over with the Frankenstein, but I want to show you guys, but I'm really excited about the way this looks. You guys let me know in the comments who your favorite character is from Nightmare Before Christmas. If you have seen the movie, I don't care if you saw it a long time ago, if you need to rewatch it because you're like, oh my gosh, I forgot a bunch of stuff. I want to see it again. Let me know if you guys are, you know, like fans, big fans, you've seen it a hundred thousand times. Let me know also, but let me know what your favorite part of the tier tray is as well. If you guys want to let me know, you guys can answer both of the questions in the comments and anything else that you guys want to say, let me know in the comments, but I hope you guys enjoyed this very quick video. I just want to show you guys me putting this together. I'm super excited about it. It turned out really lovely. So I'm really happy about that. So until the next video, make sure that you guys are subscribed so you guys don't miss another video. I hope that you guys are enjoying all of my Halloween content. I do aim to please and share with you guys all the fun stuff that I'm putting together. Give you guys some inspiration for the holiday. If you don't have this exact tear tray, that is okay. You can get you whatever you have. Whatever you can get, whatever you have already, definitely do the best that you can with what you have. Come up with a theme that you absolutely love and make it look nice. Put it in your kitchen if you have room. If you have room to put it on your counter so it gives you motivation to clean and get stuff done, definitely do that. Um, I'm going to have to move these actual lights because it is close to my sink. So I don't want my family to like wet stuff up because if these get wet, these will get ruined and I won't be able to use them because I know I'm not going to find them again at CVS this year. I want to say I picked up some of these last year, but again, I don't have all of my containers home for my storage. I have like half of my containers here, almost half. So I don't have everything here. But with that being said, I hope you guys like this Nightmare Before Christmas tier tray themed tier tray video. Until the next video, I will talk to you guys later. Jack and Sally says goodnight.